Greetings, welcome to Live with Shatufa. After the much waited uh, GNU cabinet, President Ramaphosa has finally given out the names of the cabinet members, uh, including deputy ministers uh, that he has chosen uh, for the new government in South Africa. After the failure in the elections by the ANC to garner over 50% of the vote, they have decided to enter into a GNU uh, with the other political parties, including the DA being one of the biggest players in the GNU. We have seen small parties like the Patriotic Alliance of Gaton Mackenzie also campaigning and making so much noise about uh, wanting to enter into positions uh, within the cabinet. Mackenzie was on record indicating that if uh, his party is not allocated any ministerial position, he was going to pull out of uh, the GNU. And of, of course, we have seen uh, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa trying to balance up the equation and uh, nominating members of the cabinet from almost every political party that is attended uh, or even uh, incorporated into the GNU. So, so much about that, we see McKenzie coming out, uh, you know, blabbing about uh, wanting to be, uh, I mean, having been offered the position. And he, it's 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 once in a while that we've have, we've have seen such kind of an ex excitement about ministerial positions by a politician. He really behaved like a small boy who was you know eager so much that uh, he needed a piece of his of, of 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 his bread. But finally, after it has happened, we knew of course that uh, uh, Gaton Mackenzie's ambitiousness was up to no good. And uh, right now, uh, reports that we are receiving after he has been given the ministerial position of sports in South Africa, we have very disturbing news that are coming from what McKenzie is said to be uh, planning. So a report says President Ramaphosa has given the sports minister post to a xenophobic tribalist based on McKenzie. This is what he said. Each PSL team must have only one foreign national player. No foreign national player must earn more than 5,000. His hate for Zimbos will destroy sports in South Africa. Right. Uh, this really is a very sad development uh, when it comes to sporting, because sporting uh, is just like the law. It sees no color, it sees no religion, it sees no race. And Mackenzie, if he starts to bring issues that are relating to those uh, ent entities, he is indeed going to be destroying the South African sport. It's very, very sad that uh, a, a minister would come into a, a, you know, the most friendliest of all disciplines, which is sport. Sport encompasses many, many people. You find that uh, even countries at war, when it comes to sports, you might find them playing soccer uh, together, meeting in a neutral country and playing, uh, competing in a, a international uh, a, a, a sporting activities. Yet out there, they could be at war because it is sports. And sports has always been used to harmonize things, harmonize people and bring peace uh, amongst people. So uh, when he starts to talk about the PSL and interfering into teams uh, on, and, uh, you know, giving a, 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 a condition that each team must have so many foreigners, so many what, what, that doesn't really uh, augur well with the sporting, uh, the, the, the philosophy of sporting. Because it is a wrong, wrong precedence that uh, Gato McKenzie will be setting here. Uh, you know, with sports, you'd find that, look at all the international teams. Look at the international teams. And you'd find that most of the people that are playing in international teams, you'd find that they are coming from very different places. Africa, uh, parts of uh, Africa, you know, uh, many, many players of Africa, they are actually not playing in Africa. They are playing uh, outside. For example, the Germany team, uh, that won the World Cup at one point, it did not even have a, a single German, uh, uh, I mean, yes, a German citizen, natural German citizen. You'd find that most of those were Blacks, and those are Blacks that are coming from Senegal, from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Equatorial Guinea, they are coming from uh, Tunisia, they are coming from wherever, uh, from Africa. But yet, when the team wins, uh, Germany would be celebrating that it is them that have won the Cup. And uh, this is what is happening. Uh, when you look at all African international players, you find that they are not playing in their uh, teams, in their uh, home teams. They actually come to play for their home teams, more like, like guests, like uh, guest players who only come for most, most, uh, mostly international um, games uh, to feature for their country. But in other words, 
they will be always uh, outside playing for their teams that have uh, uh, recruited them from Europe, uh, from America and uh, the rest of the world. So when it comes to sports, really genuinely, uh, it didn't need to him to bring uh, those xenophobic tendencies because they are going to affect sports in South Africa. Not only soccer, uh, all uh, kinds of sports generally are going to be affected if he continues to bring that. You find you might end up now getting to the rugby and start to say, why are there more whites in the rugby team and things like that. At times, it's really uh, uh, not, not very necessary because you'd find that, uh, uh, what about if they are the com most competitive, or if they are the ones that are uh, playing so, 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 so good? You know, the competition is an open is, is open and everyone must just compete equally. And if they are good, they are good. Then they must be entering. Unless, of course, there are other things that are happening. But uh, as for uh, the issue of saying uh, a foreign player must not be earning more than 5,000, I don't think that is up to a minister of, uh, or a politician to give such a judgment. That must be a contract that goes between the team and the player uh, who is coming in. That must be a private uh, arrangement a private agreement you don't have to get as a politician to the point of uh, uh, you know dictating how much a team is supposed to be paying a, a foreign player especially talking about 5000 rand you know 5000 rand is just an insult that is money that is not a, that, that is earned by the lowest paid people even uh, maids are earning much higher than that so why would uh, mackenzie be coming to mock the gift of sport to that extent where people that are international players that have excelled so so high might be wanted by the South African teams to develop uh, uh, their 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 you know the the PSL the the, the soccer generally in Af in South Africa and then you would want to come as a politician who is just bitter who is just vindictive a politician you know people like Mackenzie I'm telling you uh, South Africans must be very careful must be very careful with people like Mackenzie is that kind of guy who would uh, destroy the nation. Totally, totally. You'd bring chaos. You'd bring some serious, uh, uh, unnecessary uh, tribal wars that he can bring because he just wants to be uh, so sensitive or for, for, for nothing at times. You know, when we look at uh, foreign players, you'd find that there are not very many anyway. Uh, I don't see any team in South Africa that is dominated by, uh, by by foreigners in the in the PSL. No, it's mostly South Africans. Then you'd find maybe two, three, four, maybe foreign players. So it, it is indeed not even a case that he could be making noise about to that level, you see. So that is it. I think he's just trying to revenge uh, since he wanted to get the Home Affairs uh, Department and then he could uh, revenge on the foreigners, but it didn't happen. Now he just wants to apply it everywhere. It cannot be applicable everywhere. You can't apply it in sports. In sports, you just have to let sports continue to unite people continue to be a, 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 a discipline that uh, continues to bring peace, unity, love, and oneness. That is why uh, sports uh, is promoted all over the world. And it is one of uh, actually uh, the most paying disciplines in uh, in the world. And uh, who is Mackenzie today to want to come and shoot down that? Remember, people like Samuel Eto, he look like, uh, uh, you know, a man who is uh, very, very rich. These are guys that are being paid very big monies in uh, in uh, in uh, in the in the in the in the league of soccer uh, in the in the discipline of soccer uh, a, a worldwide. So you do you why would you want other Africans not to to excel when it comes to their careers? Is their careers is their gifts? You must allow them to go on. So no, that is a no, a no, no, a big no, no for Mackenzie, and uh, definitely uh, a lot of uh, no care must be taken when uh, uh, dealing with a man like him. So this is what is happening. Uh, we will continue to be watching and giving you updates of what is happening uh, around the nation, around our neighbors and our, uh, all over the world. Thank you so much for those that have joined me. And always remember to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet, so you can continue to receive uh, the information that we are sharing on this platform. So 